what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day got a lot of different things i want to cover in this video and we're going to start right here with this photograph sent in to me by b wheeler from arizona who found this rock recently at the base of the white tank mountains and to me this doesn't look like necessarily a random act of nature don't know exactly how old it is obviously don't know the exact dimensions but to me that looks like that was handmade from something larger and it makes you wonder what inspired the artist or the person that made this object it looks like a, a perfect pyramid or a triangle craft that most of us have seen now up in the skies hovering above planet earth but that to me was no coincidence great observation by b wheeler from right out here in arizona also in this video i've got some really cool sunsets and sunrises carlos skywatcher once again out of portugal Zulu 69 out of Croatia. This is a spectacular sunrise with what looks like another triangle craft way off in the distance. This would be more of a isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two sides of equal length and then one side that's obviously smaller. And that's kind of what that looks like. That's a close-up view of this spectacular sunrise on January 1st out of Croatia. Also January 1st. This is a spectacular sunset out of Portugal, and you can find both of those videos linked down below in the description box. Also in this video, we're going up to the Hubble Space Telescope, and we're going to be looking at something very unique that was shared with me here recently of a recent observation from the Hubble Telescope, obviously way off in deep space, of four unique objects that look identical or at least almost identical and that gives you the impression that these much like the rock that i just shared with you guys weren't necessarily random acts of nature what did hubble see what it was focusing on at least in the picture was this object right here in the the center of the photo and they're calling that the molten ring and it's right here at nasa.gov this is the hubble space telescope page and this here is super interesting we're going to come back and take a closer look at this particular photo here you're going to see four objects that look identical they almost look like they were intelligently designed i don't know how else to describe it they don't look like random stars or random galaxies like you would typically see off in the distance in some of these space telescope images that are quite spectacular. Here is yet another example of an isosceles triangle from that video of the first sunrise coming out of Croatia. Once again, you can find that video linked below in the description box. Here at the website, we're going to take a quick look at the Schumann Resonance. All in all, everything looks pretty quiet, but look for the energy to increase here in the coming days as that coronal hole turns towards planet Earth. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera all quiet today for the most part most of the seismographs here at the supervolcano are quiet with the exception of the northeast quadrant the northwest quadrant and a little bit down here in the south southeast but everything else is pretty quiet and i would expect a little bit of activity from any supervolcano anywhere on planet earth also in this video i've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world Croatia starting off with that spectacular sunrise big beams spanning across the horizon there's that isosceles looking triangle almost looks like a craft up in the sky Denise T sent in this little video clip of a halo with yet another halo above the primary halo and the sun looked like a diamond in the sky with sun dogs off to the right and left Barbie and Dave out of Branford Connecticut yet another spectacular purple and light purple sunrise or sunset same color sky out of Nolansville Tennessee photo sent in by Ben H Candace H out of Oklahoma ominous looking shelf cloud with heavy rain coming down underneath that storm cloud Carlos Skywatcher spectacular view of the horizon during sunset this is visible from his location or this was visible from his location over in Portugal looking way out over the Atlantic Ocean Brandy B out of Louisville Kentucky another fiery orange sky Clayton out of Vidalia, Louisiana, got a very long, what looks like a, a frontal boundary, spanning as far as he could see in both directions. 
Tucson, Arizona, Danae sent in some photos of yet some more bright orange skies. Very fiery orange sunrises and sunsets, much like this one here by Donna out of Silicon Valley, California. Get a load of that sky. And honestly, that's exactly the way I received it. Elaine, not sure of the location here, but this looks like a cube, some sort of a square up in the sky. And once again, this is exactly the way I received the photograph. You can see what looks like a near perfect 90 degree angle right down there at the lower right hand side of that cloud looking structure. Geelong, Australia. Dylan S. sent in a photograph of yet another frontal boundary from his location. Here's a video of the same two photos that I shared with you guys. This too, spanning as far as he could see in both directions. There's Dylan right there as he's looking in amazement. Mary Hall from the International Space Station happened to notice one of these massive frontal boundaries looking down at Earth from 250 miles in the sky. Doc B out of South Jersey also captured what looks like one of the leading edges of a frontal boundary up in the sky. This one here is reflecting off of the lake. Another fiery reddish orange sky. That too, exactly the way I received it. That is unedited. You can see that one also reflecting off of the lake. Doc also noticed this big jumbo halo around the sun, very low on the horizon. Colorful clouds around the recent full moon up in the sky. G out of Lithuania. Got a purple sky with some roll clouds in the foreground. About 10 minutes later or prior, it was orange. Same sky. Steve K out of Iowa. This sky here looks very similar to what we just saw out of Lithuania. Almost looks identical. Jeff F out of Boise, Idaho. Big jumbo halo around the full moon. Those are quite spectacular. Jenny J out of Michigan. Notice what looked like a triangle shape up in the sky in the clouds. VC out of Westland, Michigan. Big long roll clouds spanning across the sky high above Michigan. Here's a sun dog off to the left of the sun, looking at the sun there, then going back to the very bright sun dog. Here VC noticed a double decker rainbow. This photo here is exactly the way I received it. More beautiful purple skies, this time noticed by VC above Westland, Michigan. Now we're going to go back to the Hubble Space Telescope photograph that I shared with you guys at the beginning of the video. This is what was being featured in the photograph over at the Hubble Space Telescope website right here. That's what's being featured. But if you look very closely at the photograph that was shared with me by Michael who made this observation, you look over here, 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 and here, and I'm going to go in close and show you guys what I'm talking about. You see four what look like objects in deep space. Unbelievable observation here. And once again, this was shared with me by Michael. And here we go. I did a little video slideshow of that photo from the Hubble Space Telescope. And it's called the, the Molten Ring. That's what this feature here is. And this again is looking out into deep space. Photos from 2020. Over here, you're going to see what looks like an object. Okay. Have no way of knowing what this is other than these four objects look very similar and nothing else in this photograph looks similar to each other. Everything is unique except these four objects. They look almost identical. That's impossible. Here's another one there. We're going to go in close and take a look at yet another one right down here. And I'm going to zoom in even closer and let you guys decide for yourself. Are these things just random stars or galaxies or are they something else? I don't know. Here's another one here. Look. Looks identical to the first two you just saw. Here's yet another one. What are those things? These are in deep space. They don't necessarily look like galaxies. Um, if they are stars, they're putting off a very unique form of light. And the formations on these independent objects are all the same. How can that be possible? You know, in a random deep space sky photo. That's almost impossible, right? There's another one. These are all different, but yet they look almost identical. There's another one. What are these random lights? Let's try to count them. I haven't counted them yet. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve. It's almost like you're looking at the face of a clock in deep space. There's twelve smaller lights surrounding a larger light in the center that don't appear to be attached to the center light. What is that thing? And there's four of them. 
not just one, there's four, here it is inverted, and they look almost identical. Nothing else in that photograph looks similar to, to one another. You know what I mean? Everything in the photograph looks unique, especially when you're talking about a, a Hubble photo looking off into deep space. Everything looks different, but you have one right here, okay? Got one way over here. There's another one right there. Got one down here, okay? And you got one way over here. Those look identical to each other in deep space. I'm sure they're millions of light years away from each other, but what are they? How can they look identical off in deep space like that? Very good observation. Once again, that photo was shared with me by Michael, and you can find it over here at the Hubble Space Telescope website that you can also find linked below in the description box. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.